I am excited for this podcast. Yeah, me I'm actually, too. I feel like I haven't seen you in literally two weeks. <laughs> so I walk in through the door, and he, like, he's like, "Hey, what's up, man?" I go give my. Usually, I don't give Heath a hug when I see him. Uh, yeah, but it just like, it was just up. like it just felt right. So I gave him a hug. I, and didn't I took a that. second back, and I was like, "Hold on." I was like, wait, I haven't seen you in two weeks. Yeah, how's everything going? Um, so we, we got a lot to catch up about, so I'm super excited about this one. Um, before we get into it, uh, unfortunately, Mariah is not able to make the podcast today. She wishes she could and um, wants us to have a really good podcast. Yeah. Uh, but just keep her and her family and your thoughts and prayers, and she will be back with us next week. Baby, um, she is here in spirit. Uh-huh. Mariah, we're so sorry. Matt is uh, doing the audio for this podcast. So if the audio sounds fucked up, I'm attempting. <laughs> blame, blame Matt. I think I know what I'm doing. Is it on, Matt? Is it on? I hope we're recording. Yeah. No, it is recording, but I think Mariah's mic is on. Is that going to affect it's anything? Okay. It's no, okay. it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yes, Mariah isn't here, but she wants us to have a really good episode. And that's what we're going to do. We're going right, to have a really good exactly. episode for Mariah. I got this, baby. She'll I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Man, Mariah <laughs> is like, Mariah she is, the, is the glue she is that the... holds our dumb asses together. No, really, though. <laughs> Guys, it's Coffee Talk, baby. Cheers. <laughs> For the people listening right now, I... I wish you could see actually i don't wish you could see matt's shirt matt what the you look like you're in seventh grade oh my, i know it. why is that shirt like an extra small on you w because <laughs> Wait, ever the since i got a girlfriend he's right. just changed. And he changed real quick <laughs> she making it okay uh, all i I'm she said just you wearing... look like a stud <laughs> for the people listening i am just wearing a gray Lacoste polo, but apparently I look like I am in middle school for my. Uh, it's, it's a little tight. I know. I know Matt has been working out lately, but it doesn't is. mean you wear right, smaller right. shirts to show off the muscles. Uh, I guess anymore. I can't wear larges anymore. It, it's what? the shirt, but also Matt. Like, look at his hair. What's different? I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, he has like the. He looks nice tonight. What are you doing tonight? That. You're he's got, he's got a date. He's got a date. No, no, she's babysitting tonight. So, oh, so who are you trying to look good for then tonight, okay, man? Okay. I, I just wanted to to enjoy this night with <laughs> my boys. Got red like I'm that. already getting red. <laughs> I look flushed, and I'm not even drinking. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, oh my yeah, god. Matt is. Are you going to eat Emma night tonight? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dima is going to be DJing. Dima is that, David's yeah, high Zane school friend that, and our roommate. <laughs> Why? Dima, Dima, right? Now, he's um one. Uh, he's David and Ilya's uh, Chicago, a friend from Chicago. Right now, he's actually living with me, Jay, uh, me, Todd, and Matt. God, yeah. I forget who lives with us now. Me, Todd, and Matt, he's our fourth roommate right now. He's great, but he's DJing Emo Night. Emo, if you guys That's don't so know what funny. Emo Night is, Emo Night is a get a huge get-together where they just play like old, throwback jams. Throwback alternative music. So it's like Taking Back Sunday, um, All Time Low, just all- You know all, all that stuff you used to scream and cry to when you were a little kid? And yeah. guess who's performing tonight? Metro Station. No way. Yeah. Shake, 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 get. We gotta go. Shake, shake. That's we gotta crazy. go. I know. We Why? I leave at 7 oh, in the morning. Shit, that's okay, right. Okay. That's right. That's right. Well, Man. Dima's DJing, and I think that's what we're gonna do. I I know. I look that's like the so least exciting. emo person ever <laughs> right now. <laughs> right. Oh, you're wearing that. Oh, well, no. I got, I got my black jacket, so I look kind of emo. <laughs> oh, that's good. You wear it, because you're, you're gonna get bullied yeah, in that, also, all right? Kinda, like, the emo kids back then did kind of, like, dress somewhat preppy oh yeah it's just their hair was really it, it, so they would dress right. like that but their hair would be I'm really pretty sure Zane used to wear polos no i used to wear ho giant holster jackets Hollister with hoodie. tight blue jeans right, and right. flip flops dude mm. i looked rough, rough. You, were, you had your style he did his thing yeah it's crazy how big Eam and I has gone since we've known TJ. Oh, yeah, I know. They're performing at Coachella this I year. I know. Like, the, you, you, since That's when do you incredible. know of anything like that, performing at Coachella? So like, it started out, it was just like a, a little local thing for people to go listen to just music that we grew up on. Mm -hmm. um, it's once a month, and then it just became this huge event, and the line is around the corner. Huge. The just like gigantic my yeah. first emo night i waited in line for three hours oh i know oh yeah we and you had to wait in line and people because still wait in line for up to three hours and luckily we're spoiled now because aaron's marrying the founder <laughs> right. of emo night um but yeah it started off just as like a small thing first tuesday of every month now it's like yeah once a month or every two yeah months, it's, I think. A, it's a, yeah it's been the same it's been a, it's the same uh day every year it's massive and or it's just month. a yeah it's a big uh throwback uh jam night and, and i think and i think 
think it's worth it. Like people, people, oh, that, totally. people that wait in line when they get in, they're just like, "Wow, I'm finally here!" And you just yeah, have you get, a really you get good night. With, you get to be with people who like that same kind of music, and also it's a surprise performance every time you go. Yeah, and it's they also have really like, big whoever's going to be the DJ or yeah. like whoever, or whoever just is. shows up. Yeah, I've been there. Halsey's been there. Yeah. Post Malone will just show up and like there to have a good time. They're not even DJing; they just want to like hang out and listen to it. <laughs> because <laughs> everybody loves that music, right? You know, it's like. Even like people that like only country, they they like that music. I feel like too. it's coming back, like the emo sound. Like it was yeah. kind of gone oh, yeah. for a little bit, and now it's like, mm-hmm. like are, the like e- like pop emo. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. Really no, it's fun, but like, yeah. Congrats to TJ, man. Like, come so a long cool. way in your so cool. Have you ever DJ emo night? Um, no, I know Heath and I. We wanted to do they, it we once. Were, I have. Okay, you have. Okay. I opened up for Doug the Pug, or Doug the Pug opened up. For <laughs> Guys, me. you never know what special guest is gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> you, you opened up for Doug the Pug. Uh huh. That's. <laughs> but I, I know. You I, opened up for a puppy. Uh, uh, yes, I opened up. For <laughs> two paws up, said the crowd at him. Yeah, Doug the Pug is a pug. He's, it's he's not just up there. <laughs> his owner's just rotating his torso, and he's just putting his paws on the on the turntables. Did, did you arf arf? <laughs> That's cute. There's a little spin on it. <laughs> um, I miss Mariah. So, uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I'm, like, she, she, she'd be talking right now. Like, this yeah. is her time to talk. You know, oh, my God. It's like a piece of a cake missing. Hear me out. Mm-hmm. Valentine's Day is approaching. Right. And you forgot to make uh, last minute reservations. Uh-oh. You know? Well, baby, don't settle for the last table available. Right. Treat your date to delivery with DoorDash at home. Mm-hmm. DoorDash brings all the flavors of America directly to your door. And guys... Ordering is easy. Mm -hmm. Just open the app, choose the food you want, and then boom, it's at your house. It's really that simple. I love it. Not only is your favorite pizza on the DoorDash app, Mm -hmm. but they got over 310,000 restaurant partners in over 4,000 cities. That's crazy, baby. In all 50 states. So you'll be able to find a new favorite one too, obviously. My favorite thing is I've been ordering from restaurants that I don't even know where they actually are located. I'm just, I I just go on the app and then I find it and I'm like, wow. And then I'll drive by it like a couple weeks later. Oh my God, that's where I order from. It's so so crazy. I I don't know. It's convenience, baby. It's nice. And we all love convenience. Mm -hmm. Wow. Talking about this mix makes me a little hungry. I know I'm starving. Well, download the app, baby. Okay. Okay. Let's get after it. (laughs) Not only are they in the United States, they're also in Puerto Rico, Canada, and and Australia. And guys, not only can you order your local go-tos, you can order from your national favorite restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, Shake fil a and my personal favorite. Cheesecake Factory, Oh baby. my God, you know Ooh. me. You know I love my Cheesecake Factory. Mm-hmm. And, and there, there's always a line. You got to wait. You got to sit. You got you got people. No, nobody wants that. Shoo, shoo. Get it delivered directly to your door. It's so simple and so easy. And... Save some time, baby. A monkey can do it. A monkey right. can buy his bananas from that. You know exactly what I'm saying? right. Because where you get bananas, you can get bananas from uh, Ralph's or some. Exactly. You know? Spend more time with your loved one, your friend, or yourself, and just stay at home. Be comfortable and and stay in your jammies. And guys, with DoorDash, you'll never have to worry about your next meal because you could just order from DoorDash, yeah. baby. You know what I'm saying? And right now, you guys can get $5 off your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and use code UNFILTERED. Again, $5 off your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and use the code UNFILTERED. Mm-hmm. $5 off, baby. DoorDash app. Code UNFILTERED. <sighs> well, get to ordering. <laughs> I love y'all, and I'm hungry. Can we eat after this? Once we wrap this up, we finna, we finna order some stuff. Perfect. Okay. But anyways... So, yeah, guys, fill me in. Fill me on on your week. Okay. I know you guys had a blast. So, <laughs> it wasn't a weekend. It was like a man's week it was, trip. All right. Okay. Oh, we went we to Montana, baby. It Montana. was. Well, I mean, I don't me want to sit here and make you jealous or anything. But Let's make him jealous. Let's rub it in. I honestly, really, honestly okay. the best trip I've ever had. And we've been talking about wanting to explore and go travel more lately. And that is exactly what yeah, we Yeah, no shit. That was that conversation was with me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I literally, we, got, we, were, we were drunk. What was it? It was like all the boys were drunk at a bar. And we we're all just like, guys. Let's travel more, man. And Matt, yeah. Matt was making fun of us so much. He's like, you guys just get drunk and then you just start. <laughs> what, what's the word? Like just finding your next little fix. Oh. Like something to get excited about. It's either <laughs> buying something or traveling. Matt, Matt, Matt will be like this. He's like, what's going to make me happy? <laughs> <laughs> that is you guys. Just, I love it just, though. Ah, What's gonna make me happy? Next year is gonna be our year. But I gotta say, in Montana, Heath probably said, 
I am so happy. Like every hour. And then you fucking made fun of me. But You're no, like, it's when it's, he's happy, he lets you but, know. He when lets Matt's you know. fucking dancing around, Patricia, Patricia, then we can't right. say anything. No, Crazy. I know, I know, I know. But no, but Heath will be like, I am so happy right now. <laughs> no, it's just funny. I, it's, I'm just, it's me being appreciative. Like we were sitting yes. in the hot tub, and I was like, wow, this is so nice. I'm so happy. This was such a good. You're trip. with good friends. Then, I get it. I'm, I'm, I'm being appreciative, and all your good here, friends. <laughs> Every single one of them. I couldn't think of anybody else that could have been there. Uh, and the master's like, oh, when he's happy, he lets you know it. And I'm like, well, now I'm fucking pissed. Fuck off. No, uh, hey, hold on. Is you it, know what Matt not, is? What I've, uh, he's a hypocrite. Uh -huh. He fucking says something okay, when someone I, else does. No, because mm. I can be in a good mood. Here's the thing, Heath. Did you I, just fart? No, I oh, we get it. It's boys' Yo, night. No, Mar it's Mariah's. It's Mariah's uh, stool, and I and I nudged it. It's an empty stool. All right, let's get stinky, okay. boys. Huh? <laughs> Here's the thing, Heath. D wouldn't I want you to be in a good mood? Wouldn't I want you to be happy? I would think so. Oh, if me, but I don't want that to get confused of me making fun when you're in a good mood. The thing is, I want you to be in a good mood all the time. You know what I mean? And I guess what sometimes when you say like you're so happy, I'm like. Hell yeah! I want I want you to be happy. I want you to be happy all the time. Uh -huh. It just seems like it's like when you do say it, I'm like, of course, we, this we are happy. You know, because uh, it, it, it makes me feel like, have you not been happy this whole time, and now you're finally happy? No, no, no that no. doesn't mean it's that. just me it, being like, actually being like, wow, guys, I'm having a great time with you. You're not happy. You're appreciative. You're right. constantly appreciative of what you have and the life you have and the right. friends you have, and that's what I am so happy. Jeez, means. Zane, stop being so. When Zane's appreciative, he lets you know. It. <laughs> <laughs> stop being so humble. No. God, everybody's gotta know when he's humble. Right, exactly. <laughs> but Heath, no, I get what you mean. I think I was just like laughing because I was like, damn, Heath's just in a good mood, and I just heard you say a lot. And I was when, like, when Heath's yeah, in a good mood, I mean, though, it, it radiates. So like, when it, Heath's it was, in a good mood, everyone's in a good mood. It was it's literally like, like my first time seeing snowfall, so that was exciting to yeah, me. Yeah, I, I, I was like crying when I saw an oh. icicle. What? I'd never seen snow fall. You've never seen snow fall? Right. Snow, You've snowfall, been in snow I've, so many times, though. No, I've seen, been to like Big Bear and seen it on the ground, but like actual snow coming down. Big Bear is the closest thing you've ever gone to snow? Yes. What? Crazy. That's crazy. I, I know. That's why I was like, wow, this is so amazing. And it was like, it was it was snowing and it was like country. It, it was cool. And we were in like <laughs> a he ranch. Oh, Keith we, was were, home. we were, uh, what do they call there it? Was bison. We were glamping. Is that what they call it? Like, it was glamping. Yeah, it's like a glamorous form of clamping. Is that how, yeah. what yeah. it is? Oh, it's, um, so so, so it, it was this huge ranch. Um, and what was the name of the ranch? Pause up. Pause up. That's what it was. And it was just these really nice, nice cabins. Huge cabins. Like all, like all. It's like had, the Kardashian cabins. Like huh? if, when they if go that, on. If that cabin was here in LA, I'd buy it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Was it was it kind of like the one in Big Bear, or was it much nicer than the one in Big Bear? Um, it was kind of like that. Uh, uh, I think ours was probably a little bit nicer. Eh, they were pretty close. Yeah. But uh, this one had like its own hot tub outside. Cri that, that hot tub looked insane, by the each, way. Like the the scenery behind yeah, dude, it. it was gorgeous. Each cabin got their own Lexus SUV instead of like a golf cart to get you around. Mm -hmm. Every every single house had a Lexus to. And we didn't use it once. What? Because <laughs> well, I think because we were kind of drinking most of the time, Dang, so it would have been a bad idea. Y'all rich rich that weekend, huh? Who who paid for this? Like uh, it was a smear. Uh, oh yeah, it was Smirnoff. Our, our friends, Smirnoff. Uh, <laughs> yes, thank you to Smirnoff. But yeah, thank you, Smirnoff. No. <laughs> Zane, <laughs> I'm Ooh, so he's sorry. nasty. <laughs> Jeez. No, but I, no, no. I mean, I just, you know why? I think this, I, it's because I drink a lot. I, it, and that's why on. they don't want to work with you. <laughs> no, no, no. The first thing we got to do when we were there uh, was dog sledding. Guys, if you ever get the chance or have been thinking about it, do it. It was insane. It looks, dude, th those dogs are so cute. I was so jealous cute, you guys are dog but sledding. but terrifying. Yeah. Because they are just trained dog, or, or trained, um, I don't know. Train uh, dog, what do you mean? What's, dog sc what's scary well, about that? Because so, so they're it, all training for the Iditarod. <clears throat> and yes. the Iditarod is like a thousand mile dog sled trail trek that they go on. Okay. And they were like, I think they said they were one years old, those dogs that were pulling us. Uh, they, yeah, wow. they were like so in training. They like, pop out and go straight to training. I huh? was expecting like huge wolves pulling us or right. big St. Bernard's. No, or I don't normally, know. normally it is wolves and they just call it dog sledding, right? They're, they're they like, don't have wolves. They don't have <laughs> what domestic I mean, like Balto. A there's a movie Balto they're, they're where there's a wolf. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm thinking. They're, I know. I'm a but, fucking but idiot. The movie Balto is about a wolf who joins dog sledding. And it, <laughs> Zane, oh, Zane, Zane thought they were Zane's, wolves. Zane's the type of like person to tell somebody a fact a couple years later based off of a cartoon. Nothing movie. to so, back up. Nothing to back guys, it up. No, guys, dog sledding is wolves that. <laughs> 
uh, but uh, I think what was really fun about the 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 dogs or whatever is you're getting pulled by them and you're like, well, these dogs gotta like poop or pee or when do they do it right did your any of they your dogs do it as they're running as they're running so shit fly in my mouth and <laughs> they're like they're peeing and they're kicking it like as they're running like all back dude it was crazy because i was like i was smelling i go i was like todd did you because i was like in the middle sitting between todd's lap i was like todd what is and i was like no, that's, <laughs> that dog poop and i look up and i see this dog running but like trying to like <laughs> like the legs are they're, real they're wide. like still puppies yeah <laughs> and he's just still trying to like push one out and, and I, Imagine trying to run and poop at the same time. That's I feel like that's but, impossible. But also pulling a sled. <laughs> like <you're laughs> also not... pulling eight humans. <laughs> could, could a human do that? Do you think you could poop and run at the same time? I do, I'm sure, but it would be disgusting. Th- think think about it though. Like when you sit and poop, it really you really have to just you're, like relax. You that's in order zone. for it to work. Yeah, but you're running. You're. Dude, what I thought was the coolest thing, as these dogs are running, they're scooping up snow with their mouth. I thought I was going to say scooping up <laughs> shit. <laughs> Ow. But they're like scooping up snow as they're running to hydrate. They're like getting their water yeah. as they're running. I thought it was the coolest thing. And they wow. were moving pretty quick. Uh, they were very fast. And it was it was so scenic and it was really cool. And they took us on amazing route. I had the route. giggles the entire time. I'll, I'll show some pictures. Like you were just like just were giggles, so... as in just like la- just Heath like... having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> just well, happy. No, what was the first? What did you say? What did you say right when you got out of the dog sled? I I thanked the dogs. <laughs> no, you said that was the best th- thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Okay, <laughs> you did. No, I, think I, I probably. I mean, it was one of the best things I've ever. Oh, was... thank God Mariah's not here. Jesus. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what about meeting me? <laughs> uh, no, but the, the dog sled was really cool. And then the second thing we got to do... Snowmobiling was dope. Oh, it was the coolest thing. I cried. Oh, hold dude. on. Why didn't I see any like videos or... Because you, you can't take it like as you're right. You literally need to hang on with both hands. It's like a jet ski. You can't just like whip out your phone when you're on a got jet it. yeah, ski. Yeah, okay. it, it's like impossible. Also, we had like big gloves on and you can't like... Oh, uh, but no, I'm surprised like someone else didn't record you got like you. Uh, there was GoPro footage of it. Oh, yeah. We may um, get that footage. Oh, cool. OK. I'll but it, it literally is a jet ski on the snow. Is it? It's, it's scarier than jet skiing, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, at, well, at first, like, it was terrified. it was tough. Like me, me and Heath were kind of trailing behind in the beginning because we <laughs> no, just I was stuck behind Matt. <laughs> uh, I, I thought you were one of Why the other guys set you up behind Matt. That's kind of silly. I don't know. I was. I thought you were one of Tyler Cameron's like high school buddies. So I was like, "Hey, like, <laughs> go around, go around." And then right, right, when we pulled up to our first stop. I was like, "Heath, you've been behind me the whole time. I'm sorry," because I had to get used to just the the throttle. But he, Matt is the worst at driving. Like driving anything. Like on our way here, I'm, I'm just watching Matt. Matt drives like a grandma, like straight up. I'm careful. No, no, no. There's a difference between careful and just slow and bad. Like, dude, he'll not only go like 20 miles per hour on the highway, but like when he wants to merge, <laughs> he'll 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 look over like eight times and then start slowly going and then go back because the car oh thinks the car's God. coming. Because like, it's Matt. nighttime and it's that weird LA like rush hour like. Fast no, rush hour. No. Yeah. Matt, Matt's no. like to pull out in front of somebody and do 10. <laughs> you know what? I'm a safe driver. Not Y'all are reckless. No. Y'all, just, y'all got a no. need for speed. No, no. I do not have a need for speed. I, I think I actually drive at an average what, speed. What did the woman tell you right when you pulled on David Street today? Slow, Slow down, down, asshole. Oh, yeah, but she, she she heard my car. She didn't see me. Tur- I turned slowly onto his street, and she yelled at me. It's because my car is loud. It's because I wasn't we have going loud fast. Lamborghinis. Anything <laughs> loud, any old people, any old person is gonna yell at a car that's right. loud. Like it, whether it's going slow or fast, that's just you're fucking boomers. You know what I mean? What are you gonna okay, do with boomers. them? Okay. <laughs> what are you gonna do with them? The point is, we had a really good time in Montana. It was I'm really no, I'm really glad you guys did. It was really nice. Yeah, I just think I I, I just think I didn't get invited. <laughs> the criteria was that like just I drink a lot. <laughs> that was that was like the hey Zane like, just okay. is not approved. They're like yeah we got another client uh, Zane Hijazi. It looks like he drinks. <laughs> looks like he whoa really drinks. <laughs> Holy yeah this could be a bad look for the brand. <laughs> and then we get Matt. Oh he's a really safe driver. Whatever. <laughs> we all drink the same amount. I'm just brave enough to show it off on camera. You know. Oh my god. Baby that's why Jose Cuervo. The baby they understand. They understand because Jose they like to party. They like to party. Bitch, mm-hmm. you know, so thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, Jose Corvo. His best friend is Jose. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what else is crazy? So, I saw Zane for about two hours after I landed from Montana. 
You remember that? Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> so Todd and I landed from this trip, went back to Zane's house. I was going to say hi, and then I was like, you know what? I'll have a drink with you guys real quick, and then I'll go back to my house, relax. You, and... you had a wild weekend. Like, you, you were like you came back, and you're ready oh, yeah, to it was settle like, and just like... Adventure with the boys, cracking some cold ones. I was like, I was done. Yeah. I was beat. You were exhausted. You looked yeah. exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I show up. I was like, okay, cool. Let's get a drink, and then I'll Uber home, be done. I had three, <laughs> three drinks. He had three too many. <laughs> and uh, it turned into me grabbing the bags that I just landed with, already dirty, packed up, and going back to the airport. Hours later. Literally landed, showed up at Zane's, had a couple drinks, went back to the airport, and then ended up going to Boston. And, and, and you know what? In this situation, I get when Matt says, like, when you get that fixed, because I was sitting, I was sober, so everybody was drinking except for me. Um... I know. Um, <laughs> is it, is it, are we okay? Everybody's rewinding 15 seconds. Just did, you guys, did you guys just hear that at 20 minutes? Um, so I was like, I was sitting there eating. They're all like drinking. He, uh, Heath is progressively getting really just like, just drunk. It's just a funny drunk where just like, yeah. he'll, he'll agree to like, anything. Once you, once you get to that three drink mark, you're like, I'm having fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and so I'm sitting there, I'm eating my food. Um, like I was gonna ha call it a night, and then I just hear Heath go, "I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna buy a ticket." And I, I look up at Heath, and I look back up my feet. I'm like, "I don't want to ruin it for him. I know he's gonna because regret they, it." They had asked me to go to Boston with them. This Wait, is... wasn't it the plan you were gonna go? No, I no, wasn't gonna go. Not I thought at when all. we were in Montana, you were already saying no, I'm going to Boston. No, Todd had already booked us. Everybody booked. Oh, everybody's good to go. Yeah. And he kept asking me, "He's like, come, come to Boston." I was like, "Absolutely not." Even that, that night, like, come, to Boston, come to Boston. I'm like, there's no way. I'm this not is for Joe's birthday. Joe yeah. Wagner. Yeah. 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 So I was like, absolutely not. Three drinks in, and I'm like, fuck it. Whose birthday is it, baby? We're <laughs> going to Boston. Um, but Boston was insane. I know. Is that the what you're telling me like about the towns and shit, or is that something else? I, okay, so this is really hard to explain, and I kind of don't understand it myself. Um, but we went to a place called Seaport, mm -hmm. Boston. And it's a it's a relatively new town, like I think six years old, they said. Yeah. And it was bought and just built. And it's all state of the art, high tech, new, kind of like kind of bougie, just really nice because yeah. it's so new. Hotels, restaurants, everything, clubs. And the person that built the city wants it to look cool and be appealing on like Instagram and make it like sure. a fun spot for people to go yeah. to. You think of like Vegas, you're like, that's fun. I want to go there. Sure. Yeah. Um, so he wants that vibe to it. And so the guys that Joe is friends with work for the owner of, I guess, Seaport. Sure. Okay. So they get in everywhere for free, got everything taken care of. And they're like, I'm like, who's paying for this? And they're like, Seaport. I'm like, what do you what do you mean see like, like the city? Yeah, that's like, hey guys, come out tonight. Let's go to Come out to Los Angeles. Who's paying for it? Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. No way. The city's no. not paying for that's it. That's what so he's I'm, saying. That eh, it was on the, the guy. Bad. I guess okay, the, yeah. the, the guy the, owns the, the city. The guy owns the city. He has yeah. the key to the city. Like, I mean I guess I guess <clears throat> he just built it from the ground up. Wow. But he just wants it to look cool. So, like, if influencers or <clears throat> other people go, they make it look like. Let's go to Seaport. <laughs> I, I want to go. I mean, you made it blew my mind. Everything was free. The hotel, the dinner, everything you could possibly imagine. You didn't pay for a dime the entire trip no. you were there. Jesus, how? Uh, how Damn, you really got you really got the golden ticket with that. Yeah, one. you went from Montana, crazy. all expenses paid, and then you got to go to and, another all. And expenses he wonders paid. why I'm sitting here. I'm so happy. <laughs> Well, I hope you are. You know, I really do. No, it was just exciting, and I, I'd never experienced anything like that. Like, we would walk in somewhere, and they'd be like, hey, what's going on, dude? And then they'd give us a table, and we were just in. After, I, after I, I still don't get it. After two trips like that, I would be very happy and very appreciative right. of life. Right, exactly. So I get it. I get it. Fuck, um, man. Yeah, no, if you guys, hey, Fuck you want to go to Boston tomorrow? <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> um, if you guys want to go, I... I highly recommend it. It was really cool. All right. Well, put that on your to-do list, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. Um, Can I tell you what I did while you guys yeah, were having the like best been, time of your lives? I feel like I've been bragging too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, One day that we had was very interesting. We So David got invited to um Stormy's birthday party. <laughs> Ky Kylie Jenner's, of course he did. Kylie Jenner's uh, daughter. And... um. We who's we, Kylie Jenner? Who's Kylie Jenner? <laughs> Who? That story is so funny. Can we please say that story? 
Which story? The story of Shepherd? Mike Shepard. Oh my God. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. We'll get right, to the story. We'll right. get to the story. Quick this detour. Is, quick this detour. is more important. This is more important. <laughs> okay. Oh, this story. This is my yeah, story. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So one time we were at Sauce's house. Me, Zane, Mike. If you guys don't know Mike Sheffer, uh, he's my manager and a very good friend. We are at Stoss's house. And it's just like me saying us. Just no, saying. I don't think I was there. You? Oh, really? Yeah, you weren't there. I wasn't there. It was just me, Mike, Stoss, sure, I guess. Sure, yeah. It was just yeah. us in her living room uh -huh. and Kelsey. And Kylie walks in. She just walks in and goes, guys, can somebody please convince Stoss to stay the night at my house? I've known her forever. She's known me forever. Please, can She's someone just convince tits. her? <laughs> can someone just please convince Stoss to stay the night? And I'm like, Stoss, yeah, go, go stay the night. Guys, at, get at, ready for this. At Kylie's. And Mike is just watching this all happen. This girl just walks in and starts just saying, please commit Stoss. And Mike goes, uh, I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, I, I'm Kylie. And he's like, okay, well, nice to meet you. I'm Mike. And then it was like, okay. And we all just look at Mike like, what are you doing? Because we thought like Mike was... Did know who she was and right. was just trying to like play cool and like, yeah, all like oh, high mighty. This? <laughs> or he just didn't know who she was. And we were all convinced that Mike was just yeah. trying to be all like, who are you? It's mine. But really, Mike, it took him a whole week to convince me. He just did not know who she was. I still don't like there's no way. He's a social media manager and she is the queen of social media, basically. How do you his, not his know? argument says that he's from New York and that New York like people don't really keep up as actively with pop culture as people in LA. What? That is a horse. Which I was like, that is that's a stretch. I don't I don't know. I'm not she's from not, New York. She's not just social media. It's 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 she's, traditional, it's she's international. Global. Yeah, what, what, yeah. What, what? So that was a pretty like cringy <laughs> moment. If, he's like if just if looking at like, and I was like, knows huh. who she is. Like, yeah, I mean, just everybody. everybody yeah. Okay. So, is. anyways, <laughs> so we, we, so we drive. We get to. By the way, we took uh, Natalie's Bronco. That shit is the scariest thing to drive. Oh, yeah. Dude, <laughs> David bet. was sweating. <laughs> so really? We were driving that thing on the street, and dude, if it, it it sounded like it was gonna fall apart. Like all you heard was clunk, 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 as we were fucking driving. <laughs> down the I street. mean, and like old cars like that. Like my Mustang is sketchy. And dude, it would slide when we we're merging. It just slides. Yeah, there's no ABS. Why did I want that car? Why Why does anybody want like a Bronco because then? Because the way it looks. Because it's man, like, damn. I get it. But like, dude, that's not worth it. I would just just stress out and sweat every time you drive that thing. But we we pull up. We pull up to um her birthday. <clears throat> By the way, you're walking to a giant uh balloon head of Stormy. I like, saw that. It's it's themed Stormy World it's, after yes. like Travis, her dad's yeah, yeah, yeah. album, Astro World. So it yeah. has that like whole theme part carnival right sure theme. yeah so yeah it's like kind of like a valet situation uh -huh. so we get out of the bronco and we walk and in my I, I i knew it in my head was like oh this valet guy's not gonna know how to drive this car but like that's it and that's yeah. all i thought about and then and then we kept walking oh, we get fuck. wait no. a second we'll get back to it we get inside when i tell you i have never seen anything this well set up before like it was a birthday party <laughs> this shit how old did she turn again like Three? Probably like three, yeah. But like Heath, this was better a better setup than any carnival I've ever seen. How many really? people were it there? It looked insane. There was probably, I'd say, five hundred. Uh, no, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm not. Is gonna, everyone like, sitting down, or there assigned tables? No, no. There, it, it, is honestly, it, kinda, it, it, does, it it just looks like a it looks like a, a brand event. You are know? they? Like, are people they, are walking okay. around. There's a okay. bar. Are they, are they bumping Travis Scott, or is it like Baby Shark? Do 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 do. Well, it, it is a kids party, so there's a lot of kids there. You know, a lot of like Stormy's age kids. Did JoJo yeah. Siwa perform? Like, <laughs> no, Zane's no, there was a... drunk around toddlers. Like <laughs> 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 he's picking them up. Like that's my baby. <laughs> no, no, actually, well, I actually didn't drink at all. I don't know. I just wanted to keep professional. Just you know, whatever. And um, but it, it was crazy. Like there was a giant carnival ride. Like it, like they had like I think a total of four carnival rides in this. Giant Where was this? Store. Was it like an airplane yeah. hangar or like? I I don't I probably you know what I think it was an airplane hangar I just don't remember exactly where it was or it was like a storage house or something but it was just like the setup was like insane like hats have spent more than a million dollars on this birthday party really like, uh, like well over but it was just like Stormy is getting taken care of baby like <laughs> that's nuts for a 
for a child. Yeah, no. I don't even remember my third birthday. I think it was just a cake and my parents' friends having beers at, right. at their house. Like but I went to the McDonald's bounce house with the the play ball. You know? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, the little play play. Yeah. But you guys you have to understand that you, this is not this this is not her only birthday. I'm sure they have a very private family birthday that you know we right. would this all is the, have for our birthdays. This is just like it's a it's a business expense. It's PR. It's Stormy's birthday. You know, Who was the, the coolest person you saw there? Um, that wasn't like part of the Kardashian clan. Oh, I mean, it was like Christy Teigen there, John Legend. Cri- yeah, they were both there. They were actually behind us on the ride. It, it was it, we. Yeah, we saw a lot of familiar faces there. I just, cool. it, I, I can't remember them right now. But the fact that you okay. said that. Okay. Uh, another <clears throat> question I have: uh, the gift bags. What'd you get? Like. Um, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? You get you a little something. Bags? No, no, we actually got merch that you can only get at <laughs> her birthday. I got merch <laughs> for my Travis third Scott birthday. Scott CD. No, it is. No, it's cool because <laughs> you see somebody in a Stormy World hoodie like that. That may, Nobody that else has it. Right, the right, only right. person that has it is the, if you went to uh, Stormy's birthday. That sweater has to be worth like thousands of dollars. Oh, 100%. It looks so cool, though. I like it. It does it's like look really cool. The back, a bunch of her heads are on the back of it. It's like it's the claw, like, like picking up like a head of Stormy's. <laughs> like, like, you know, like in like, uh, uh, Toy Story, like, goodbye, my friends. I'm oh, going to funny. a better place. That claw. Like, yeah, that claw. Who will go and who will stay? <laughs> who will go and who will stay? Uh, Chloe Kardashian, she, she's so nice. She's like a normal human being. She's the one that filmed that TikTok with David. Sorry, I really don't know yeah, like the Kardashian. Well, no, yeah, no. She, she's the one that she's went the over one that David's. Was with David, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was no, so she, cool. She seems really sweet. Yeah, she's really sweet. She's like, I feel like she's the most, um, and what's down to earth? What, yeah, what's, I, I, I don't want to say down to earth because they're all sweet, but like she present. Present, sure, yeah. She's just, I just feel like she's so present and like is listening and can hang. Like I can see her and my mom hanging out. Like hmm. easily, yeah. She's. I feel like she's just like the, that. Uh, yeah. the, the other one is Courtney, right? Courtney, yeah. Courtney is. Uh, the short, who are we talking sh- about right sh- now? The shorter one, Chloe. Who are we talking, I think you're talking about Chloe. Whoops. Okay, I got the names mixed yeah, up. Yeah, because like I the got... one who David collabed with that was Courtney. Wait. That was Courtney. Oh, okay, sorry. That was Courtney. Chloe. Chloe is the, other is the one. middle sister. <laughs> Seems like I know the Kardashians. <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> I got him wrong. Up. Goes, I, yeah, I, was, I, I was at Stormy's it, birthday. It yeah. doesn't uh, help that. <laughs> it doesn't help that all their names start with a K. I know. It, it, it's really confusing. I can't fucking remember that shit. Yeah. Okay. Got. But yeah, no. It was. It was really fun. Oh, by the way, the valet situation. Right. So we were there. We we're probably there for like five, ten minutes, uh-huh. and then someone runs up to us all the way inside the birthday party and goes, "You guys have the blue Bronco, right?" Oh, we're like, "Yeah." He's like, "It's stalled. It's b- a bunch of cars are being backed up right now." We're like, "Oh shit!" We all run outside, Ooh. and the Bronco's been sitting there for ten minutes as, and people are just oh, stacked to the back. No. And Damn. we walk outside, and Kanye and Kim are watching this whole thing happen. <laughs> This, they're the only ones. They're out. They're like in. They were in that mouth of Stormy's big head and just like, <laughs> and just watching this situation. I'm just like, oh my god, this that's is so, so funny. You're so never funny. going to another birthday party. It again. was so funny. I thought it was hilarious. And was Kanye it, angry? Or is he just like who's? They're both no. They're both just straight faced. They didn't seem like angry or happy. It was just like I think they were just like what's going on here? Like, oh, what the fuck's going on here? It was kind of yeah, like yeah. that. But Ilya and David are just in the Bronco trying to start it. And I'm sitting there like this. You cannot write this shit. This is oh, what, what wow. happened to it. It just stalled because they like pulled the le- they pulled the wrong lever or they put it the wrong way. It just completely stalled. So it took it just took like about five minutes oh to get it back started. And so they got it started and went down. And then they both went back in. But I just thought it was so fucking funny. Damn. Of course. You um, had to ruin the birthday party. Yeah. yeah. But we went back inside. We had a really good time. We actually left halfway through because David just had put a billboard up. And oh, we, my God. We didn't know. I, none of us knew what it was. David had a surprise for all of us. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We were all blindfolded. We get out of the car, and we open our eyes, and we just see that. And I, as soon as, like, it was, I was so confused. I see his face. I'm like, what is that? And I, I just see the word Natalie in a text. And I was just like, oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, you know, what's, you know what's bad? What? Is that Scott and I knew that that's what it was that Todd was going home early to. So he oh, left. Can we explain what oh, it was on the billboard? Oh, it, oh sorry. Sorry. It was uh, Todd's. It was it was Todd's drunk text to Natalie, 
Like um, just late one night, night drunk text, yeah, a like, yeah. screenshot, a screenshot like, of did just, I just it, ruin my chance, uh, yeah. like of him going through I don't know all the seven stages of grief, like in in and the, everything. And then, and the, it's like anger, denial, yeah. acceptance. Like let's go to Santa Monica, baby. And, like and, it goes like I'm and, falling out of love. And what would you say the fuck my life was? Accepted or no, regret? Re- oh, re- regret. Regretful. I don't know. Regret then it sure. just all repeated again. <laughs> it's just the never ending cycle of the seven stages. Hold on. Of so grief. you knew Todd, Todd so, was leaving early, right? So we were all in. Boston and he's like I'm gonna leave early I was like why he's like uh I'm going I'm going to a a a hockey game with Natalie and I was like okay and then I was like all right sure found out that he was leaving early to go do that but David had already planned to show him the billboard so Todd didn't know that that's what he was being set up to go do oh Natalie set up that hockey game just so he'd come back earlier Oh my God! I had no idea. They're they're fucking. So, Natalie so and David as a team, oh, they're they're dangerous. Sneaky, that's mm-hmm. snake. So, so Scott and I are that's sitting there. Funny. We're like, we felt bad because one, he changed his flight early to go back to have this date with Natalie. The only reason why he would fly back early is if it, Natalie exactly. asked him. Oh, his so, favorite sport. His right, favorite sport. Right. <laughs> his so, favorite. Th- <laughs> so he changes his flight to go back early. He missed his flight. Had to buy an entirely new flight <laughs> to get back to go get fucking pranked. And his his entire text message is put up on the, the billboard. And I I felt bad knowing that that's what he was. <laughs> oh, you knew it was coming. Yes. Oh, man. I, oh, he and probably like, I needed you guys anything. to convince him, right? I couldn't say or... anything. I know, but like he told you guys just so you can like convince yeah, yeah. him from your... Oh man, yo! No, no, no! Go, we it's run, gonna be so fun. Our <laughs> crew run dirty. We run dirty. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> so messed we, up. And, and uh, the, uh, most, the group doesn't even know anything most of the time. Like I didn't know that right. they set up that game so Todd flew it back in early. They kept that shit a secret from us. Oh my, I cannot believe it. Uh uh-uh. uh. Manipulative. Manipulative. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Todd. Todd was a little like kind of like down that like those texts were up there because there are they are private right. messages. But the, in the end of the day, our friend group, for some reason, we just like, it's it's just, I, I think it's okay. I don't know. Like, if mine were up there, I would die laugh. Right. Like, it's die laugh. I would die laugh. I would, I think I would die laugh. <laughs> I would die laugh. No, I, I kind of, I just felt bad for Todd because it's, <laughs> yes, it was a lot. It was really overbearing and it was crazy drunk text. But at the same time, it's not like. Out of nowhere, where it was yeah, just like it was a build up. This why, was like a build up of right. I mean, if you guys are gonna flirt with each other, obviously he's gonna send some like text, but you know what I mean. Can't wait to be warm in your arms, Natalie. <laughs> Nat- right, right. That's what I'm saying. So it's not like Todd was just like hitting on her. Come here, baby. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, it's yeah. good. You no, know? it's good. He they, he really David really needed to put that one line in. Yeah. I, I told I even told Todd I'm like Todd, you need to make sure that line goes in yeah. because if that doesn't go in, you're gonna you look, look crazy. Right. Like bad crazy. So he put it in, it, like it I feel like it just leveled out everything, yeah. and now Na- 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 kind of got a little like a little taste a little, of her own medicine. Exactly, <laughs> right. exactly. It was like a lesson, and um, but it was it was really funny. Talking about the uh, speaking of the billboard, though, did you guys watch the news of the the, the link I sent you? I didn't. I didn't watch it. But yes. oh my, I saw we, can, can we please play? It's hilarious the way they just talk about. They talk yeah. about us like like they. They definitely they don't know our friend group, so they they're judging us just by the situation. Okay, but it's did you so send, funny. Did you send it in the vlog saved? squad group chat or? Uh, yeah, uh, guys, we have a vlog squad group chat. <laughs> just what FYI. That's so embarrassing. I, imagine I, I, it got. I imagine our it. group chat got leaked. Could you fucking imagine? <laughs> could you fucking imagine? Oh, could you fucking imagine? All right, <laughs> all right, Mariah, please play this video for our people listening and watching, please. All right, a YouTuber printed out his friend's drunk and inappropriate text and put it up on a billboard. David Dobrik setting up his friend Tony Smith, all in an effort to teach him a lesson. Smith had been texting thirsty things to Dobrik's assistant when he was drunk. Like, can we please cuddle tomorrow? And you break my heart. So Dobrik printed them out and put them on a Hollywood billboard along with Smith's picture and then revealed it to his friend on camera. Now, Dobrik is known for calling out his friends in public ways, uh, but he's just a little too public. Angie, she has the face. She's already reacting, like it or not. Um, I wouldn't like it if it was me, but I think it's really, really hilarious. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> this is so funny. I, yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> that, I mean, that's all I can say. No, I love hilarious. this shit. I have trouble legally with this, though. Like, no, because no, you, you own those texts, right? Yeah. They are well, it was you. to his assistant. It wasn't to him. But they were given to him? Yeah. 
don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. All right, a YouTuber put it out. Wait, wait, wait. The only reason I don't like it is because it's staged and contrived. And that's, you know, he, right. he's doing it for clicks for his YouTube exactly. page. And yeah. that to me is just, I'm done. Bye. Yeah, yeah I just, yeah, all those those YouTube people, which look, it's it's very lucrative. I mean, there's some YouTube mm -hmm. uh, artists, or I watch a lot of makeup tutorials. They make a lot oh my of gosh. money. Absolutely. Jeffrey Star flies on his own private planes. He has <laughs> his own business. So I, I don't want to knock anyone's hustle, but when it's these types that just want the self, real self promotion right. and just like you said, more clicks. Like it's not, they're not yeah. really enriching the community. What I'm curious is, like is did this assistant, did did she feel? Did she, you know, did she feel offended by this? Was she uncomfortable with this? Or was this no. something that the assistant said, oh, you should see what he sent me? And I, you know, I, yeah. I, I think there's a lot of, I think that's part of the context of it all. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was really bad, because if not, it no. wouldn't have gotten this far. I think right. it was a joke amongst all three of them, yeah. but, you know. And it's creative. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think it's a little creative. I, I those, I... The only reason I don't like it is because... It's not enriching the... And I love how they're talking about, like, clicks are just doing it for clicks. As, as they use that story for clicks on their right. fucking show. What? First of all, Hello. Why, why, why is that? That's that should not be picked up by the local. You, like exactly, but like, wait, it shouldn't be picked up by the local news. I don't think that the, is newsworthy to be like. Well, look at I it. Mean, no, the no, news. No, no. Nobody wants. Like, not like we're. Imagine we're not social media people. We're normal people. Okay. That would make it on the news. Well, look at it. We're talking about it. Social or the news right now is trying to get as many people to watch the news as they can. Right. And, and we're, we just played a clip from them, so they know what they're doing. But by what, covering. what news it is like it, it, it's just I, I think it's just like L.A. news or something. But it is it is like I would consider that as a community like news, you know, because it's on a billboard. It's yeah. On, it's publicly viewed by everybody driving by. Right. Just like. When well, this one wasn't like I feel like it wasn't community news, but when David did the experiment in his backyard, it's yeah. just something where it's like, oh my god, how can you true. do that yeah, in your yeah, own that's house? True, that's yeah, true. so it's like, it, I I completely understood why it was on there. I just think it's really funny that they are saying that we're doing shit for clicks when, when literally, literally the entire news station, the entire world of news is based on clicks. clicks. The like, reason why they're covering exactly. it is for clicks. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Were... Just, just hearing what people think about us, but not knowing us, not, or like yeah. knowing anything. They're like, but the cons, hey, I mean, was she uncomfortable? It's like, no, of course she was comfortable with it. That's and they, what... and they, they make a lot of money. They got Jeffrey, private jets. Yep, yep, you know? yep. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Just like that entire video was just like, just Y'all so old, just traditional. Okay, boomer. Oh, you, I just, it's just boring. You know, like when, like when I hear shit, like I'm just like, just, it's just boring. I don't want to go to sleep. Right. Quit trying to break it down and Man, inspect everything. It's like the news should be like this. You know, just like sitting here, just talking, <laughs> say, laughing. You say, know, no, you know, that this should be the news. No, this is no. I'm not saying this should no, be the news, I'm, but I'm the saying. news should be like this. Just like chill. And because people would want to watch the news, people don't want people don't watch the news we anymore. Get, we get hired from my channel seven <laughs> just for us. Well, Welcome to WTLA Live. All right. We got Zayn Ajazi here. Going to bring you the news on the hot gossip in the vlog hot, squad. Hot, 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 hot gossip here. <laughs> uh, today, we ha we have to bring Mariah on board. If we, oh we get God. hired to be on a news show, Mariah has to run the entire editing yeah, station. Yeah. <laughs> She's just in the back behind all the computer. Like. <laughs> <laughs> she just has like eight arms. She, she's got her whole like editing bay. It's like this enclosed room. <laughs> Can you like, see her in the glass like behind right. the table? Like just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's my so gosh funny. Oh, man. That's crazy though Yeah Oh hold on What was the The Twitter video I saw Where you were with Sean Mendez and <laughs> Oh okay So we got invited to uh, A Grammy after party uh -huh. Or was it the Grammys yeah, was it I the think, I'm Golden sure. Globes? No, it was the Grammys. There's so many award there, shows. There really so, is. There's one every fucking weekend. Yeah, but you're hanging out with Sean Mendez, Louis Capaldi, and, and uh, Camila Cabello. Let me live. I don't care about that type of stuff. But you think, I just if know they were three musicians, it was the Grammys. The Grammys. Okay, the Grammys. Okay, the Grammys. They got, let's move on. The Grammys. <laughs> so we get invited there. I I already knew they were gonna be there because um we we got invited by one of like Sean's friends yeah. to like go, um so I knew they were gonna be there but uh, somebody filmed the video of I was actually next to go uh, next in line to grab a drink at the bar because uh -huh. that's that's where the bar was yeah, yeah, yeah. and. As soon as it was my turn, Sean and Camilla jump over the bar and they start singing. I'm just like, oh fuck! <laughs> like, I was so because I just want to get my drink. I was, you're I, like reaching between their legs. Like, I, was, I was waiting in line for like fucking 20 minutes, and yeah. then I finally got there and just <laughs> they just start singing the Louis Capaldi song. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh man, okay. It wasn't so a, Lu I, a Louis Capaldi song. Yeah, it was. 
What song was it? Oh, oh, sorry. It was One Direction. We were singing that, but not on that video. On that video was uh, actually a One Direction song. Oh, okay. And it's because Niall was there. Niall Horan was also there. So everybody was just singing it. It was really fun. Yeah. Um, it, it just felt like you had a very, very intimate, private, like, show it looks you know, so you had all- weird it what? looked like you had like green screen yourself in there <laughs> like, a, like a tiktok like hey <laughs> just hanging out with yeah. these three people so instead of just like facing th- that way because there was just i just faced the other way but people thought that i was at this random bar and i had no idea they were behind me because that's what it looked like yeah. it looked like i just had no idea but um no i I, I, I had the idea i had the idea it was a fun party though no yeah it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun um, did you get your drink I did get my drink. That, uh, uh, Sean Mendes was actually behind the bar, and I kept on pretending he was the bartender. And he, I think he was getting confused. He was like, he wanted to do it for me at the same time. Uh, he was like, I had to perform for all these people at this rent. He's at this so bar. sweet in person. He's very sweet. He's like a, sweet a really, really nice person. Yeah, he he deserves all the success that he has. He's 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 just. I feel like he looks at the way and he looks at the world in a really like just positive and right. good way. You know, just humble, very humble. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. not, it's not because we like his music a lot, <laughs> or want to be really good friends, <laughs> <laughs> or want to go to more Grammy after parties. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, that was a very interesting week, though. You, w- w- while you guys were in Montana, Dude. snow dog sledding. Dude, literally, it hasn't felt real. Like shit has just been happening. Where I'm like, what is going on? And it's just gonna get crazier because when April hits. Oh, oh my god man. that's gonna be messy so when we were in montana i was sitting there on my phone and i was listening to midland you know the band that the new country band that i like oh yeah i saw that i saw that on your story i didn't know what, so was. it's a new country band i really like them scott looked over and saw what i was listening to he's like oh i know the bassist brother and i was like oh shit no way that's crazy they're one of my favorite bands so he sent a screenshot of me listening, or a picture of me listening to them, yeah. and sent it to you the guy. You love this band. You've been like talking about this band for a long, a long time. I've never heard you talk about this band, Midland. I, you, you see, I listened you, to your friend. Right. I know you, his interest. Oh, shut up! You probably were talking no, about it at the time. Zane, Zane doesn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Zane doesn't remember names. So if I'm like Midland, he's like, oh, I don't know. But if I played like the songs, he'd be like, Okay, yes, I do remember these right. songs. They're from, oh, they're, oh, from oh, Texas. Oh, they're, they're big songs. Uh, you they're know, big like, songs. People say I got a drinking problem. Okay, you didn't have to use that, that fucking ain't lyric no on me. To stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> right, um, but that's them. And he sent the picture, and he's like, Oh shit, cool. So I just I, I got really excited that there was some sort of connection there. Yeah. Uh, I ended up going to Boston the next day and Midland tweeted at me yeah. and was like, come to one of our shows and let's yeehaw together. And I was like, holy shit. And he love his yeehaw. He I was like, hey, we've been a Dell you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, was, I, I thought it was the coolest thing. I was like fangirling. I freaked out. So I tweeted him back. I was like, yeah, I'd love to come to one of the shows. That'd be great. And uh, my dad, I guess, saw the tweet. And was like, you know, they're playing in Boston tonight, the night of the tweet. Life is like, crazy. I was like, no fucking way. So I checked it, and sure enough, they were playing in Boston. So I sent a message. I was like, holy shit! Like you guys are, I'm randomly in Boston. And right weren't now. they like, like a five minute walk? Like how? It like, was literally down the street. I was like, this is so crazy. So uh, it gives me goosebumps. Like we, this is just how life works. Like that. They, it, we, we ended up crazy. getting uh, tickets to go, and I, I saw them. It was. It was insane. And you complain that he's happy. Come on. The, just, the when timing, shit just fits in for him. Timing just didn't make sense. It was so perfect. I'm not You're complaining. Pu- he's happy. I love that he's happy. I'm just observing that he's happy. Leave Ooh. my happy friend alone. Uh-uh. What? We j- Hold I just on. Like I think you- all of this is getting like misinterpreted. <laughs> I've just noticed he's very happy. Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> Since we're on the top of my... I don't like when he rushes us when we're doing something. Right. Everything's on your time, though. Ooh. Oh, hold up. Oh, my God. Oh, oh we about to go We're into this. We're trying to have fun, man. Have fun with us. I am having fun. <laughs> this is weird. I miss Mariah. I really wish I Mariah's here because it's just like... Oh, Matt, like, waits for Mariah to speak, but she's not there. <laughs> well, I just feel like she kind of, like, uh, counterbalances, like, everything no, out she does. Like, in a she weird does. way. Yeah. While well, we've complained about Mariah not being here about four times, that's bad. That's bad. Mar- Mar- five. We Mariah. Need, Bubba, <laughs> I miss you. I love you. <laughs> um, um, what was I? Oh. Uh, you all right? Sorry, yeah, I wanted to talk about my hair transplant, but I almost puked. Baby, they're not gonna grow in. They Give are. It. Look. Uh, oh. No, yeah. Aaron and Carly today said that they could see yeah, hairs so growing I in. Yeah, so I looked at them today because they because they they just wanted yeah. to check it out, and there's actually hairs growing. Look, Let I want you to see. I want you to look. Oh, on the sides here. Uh-huh. Easy. <laughs> 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 they all come out. Let me see. Come back. Come back. Whoa. 
Cool. And it's just, it's just that way? it's just three months. Imagine after a year, <laughs> it's just three hairs. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, he finna he finna be thick. Oh, I'm finna be glowed the fuck up, bitch. Oh my next God. year. <laughs> I'm gonna have a full head of hair. Okay, let's not get carried away now. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, no, because when these hairs grow, my my old hairs are gonna fall exactly. off. But like, what, wait, what? Just, it's gonna be a constant moving <laughs> them around just from different I'm gonna spots. I'm be in and out under the knife, baby. In and out what? of that doctor's office. But were oh you saying gosh. that you were considering getting a toupee? Yes. So. What? I saw, I just saw, I saw, you know how those toupee videos keep oh, coming out. They're addicting. There's another one. There's a brand new let one. Let me see it. Let me see it. It's so good, Heath. Really? Like, I don't understand why people do hair transplants. Like, this shit works because miracles. Because you glue it and it's good for a week. <laughs> you got to shave it and glue it back. <laughs> I don't know. Is it, does it really last a week? <clears throat> Oh I don't know. I don't guys, think it would. Lot of I, I don't it. think it would last a night with you, Zane. <laughs> Zane, <laughs> Zane be up on the table swinging, and it would go. What? Just, just hang it off. He, you would rip it off for fun. You'd be throwing it around. <laughs> <laughs> you would. You would. You'd be doing it for the bit, doing it, being all crazy, and you'd wake up the next morning, pick up your phone, and be like, "Oh God, <laughs> that's so funny." And I can't put it back on. So I have to just wear a hat, but you can tell that I'm just bald. <laughs> Holy fuck! But Holy, you could right, have yeah, like you could have like festive two phases for the season. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just a fucking what, what's that? No, what's the wreath that you put on the door? What's those called? The a wreath? A wreath? No, no, a wreath, a wreath. <laughs> yeah. I said wreath, wreath. Oh, oh. Wreath, but it's called the wreath. Jesus sake. <laughs> Just a full fucking head of wreath. Okay. Just like a, a midsummer toupee. <laughs> Zane, I think you should just wait and see how this yeah. works you, out. You gotta tra- let it grow. Let it give it, give it a rest. Jesus. Give yes. Yes. You gotta just let it do its thing. Oh my I am impulsive. You guys are right. I'm impulsive. I just I see something not working when I want it to work, yeah. and I just I, I all right. Next thing, all right, you just scrap the whole thing. Right, shit, right. My fucking <laughs> my new hairs off. <laughs> just let, yeah, let them grow, baby. Oh, but what happens if you run out of glue? Or like <laughs> they stop making the glue, like shaking it down to the last drip, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, easy on my hair tonight. <laughs> easy. Then goes to jump into the pool. He goes down the hair, he's, on the he's like talking to a chick in a hot tub, and it's like slipping down, and he's got to. He gets out of the pool all slow just, motion. Like, I close like door, car door, and I just get stuck. Oh my god! And I just uh, rip it off. And when that thing comes off, oh, it's like. Fuck. You're bald. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your yeah. wig has been snatched. Like, <laughs> yeah. What if, like, a, a, a fan came up to you and was just, like, ripped it off of you? <laughs> it's good. I mean, it's pretty glued, but, like, in a fight, that'd be pretty bad. Like, imagine right. just, like, that hair coming off and just bald. Oh. How were toupees, like, put on back then? Like, sh- glue just like that, right? I don't know. Bobby pins? Because <laughs> toupees were, like, a, th- a big thing back then. My, right. my grandpa had a toupee. I think they were glued. I still think that. Why, they were why do I remember like pins? Like they were like pins. I think to they the were hair. very swoopy. Like that's a comb over. <laughs> you ever seen those? Those cuts are. <laughs> oh, like people who grow it out really, really long and just yeah, kind yeah. of wrap it around. <laughs> yeah, my, my dad said he knew somebody that the hair was like down to here. Yeah. But he would comb it and wrap it around like this, so it would like. Dude, I saw that was like a thing. So it would look like you had like a full head hair, and then he said it fell down, and it fell down to like right here. Oh my! Like that's yeah. (laughs) It's your first date with a girl. You like (laughs) drop. You drop your fork at dinner, and you bend over to pick it. (laughs) Fucking fuck! Oh my god! That would suck. I I saw. Oh my god! I saw a dude at the pharmacy the other day, and he Zane, you know, you had used to have that little like powder you would like kind of shake in you know, oh yeah to yeah make it look I, a little dense the thicker rubber. Yeah. this guy coated his whole scalp Where he just goes, like <sighs> like i could i could like if i put my finger like on his scalp i could like crust off like a oh, huge chunk wow. of it. like it was thick it was even down to the point where like it was on his shoulders the powder oh, so that guy would just like shake it all in his hey, head he was trying to get his hair <laughs> like it was it bad and, and, and that like that um dust shit it's it's bad because when you start sweating you, it starts It'll dripping drip. and you wipe it and it looks like your your face is just dirty like just, just dirt is on your face and it's really hard to take it off because that's shit's meant to stay on your hair for the right. rest of the night so when it's on your face you you gotta go to the bathroom and now scrub it off with soap. What's so those things would be. Well, have you seen the the tattoo hair now? Everybody's doing what? Oh, I met it. I met it. I forgot. Guy, who like, he was, guys, guys, they tattoo like it looks. Dots. It looks like they have like a buzz cut. 
just to okay so like just if, as, if as a like, filler if they're like balding but like they, they keep like their stubble you know like, it's all like an optical illusion like <laughs> the whole bald head looks like his hair right <laughs> i met a i met a youtuber i forgot his name but he had it he had the dots like because we we're talking i was talking about uh-huh. my hair transplant he was talking about that you know just hair talk and, <laughs> and it, you know, no, when you're with your boys it looked it, it looked crazy it, just, it looks it, real it's like, it like a doodle pad it was like just a bunch of dots on his head but it, it, I, you couldn't really tell unless you really looked close mm-hmm. and saw that it was like not it's pretty crazy hair. yeah but um so you got options people this has been all over my twitter my instagram everywhere but the coronavirus okay Let's get it straight. I don't really, still don't really know what it is. I just know that people are dropping dead, like, in China. I I I don't know know much about it either. Um, But to be completely honest, the day that it came out and everybody was talking about it, I dead-ass thought people were getting sick from drinking Coronas. You thought it was from Corona? Are you kidding me? I'm dead-ass Because we were at David's and everybody was drinking Coronas, and I was like, I was like, is that Oh, yeah. He, like, backed up. He's like, are you sure you're going to drink those? I'm like, what? He's like, the Coronas. I'm like, oh, the Corona. Because I knew exactly no, what he was talking. They, I, they said, they were like, oh, it's from like, there was a bad batch of Coronas. Like, you know, like people get E. coli or whatever from like spinach right. or whatever yeah. the fuck that shit is. I thought there was a bad batch of Coronas that went to China that were getting people sick. And I knew no. I, I knew he was confused. So I immediately, I was like, oh, no, it's not these Coronas. Uh, these Coronas are fine. It's the Coronas in um, China. Right. That's well, not, like, and then the I was like, vi- shit. Well, see, but co- So coronaviruses, though, like this big virus right now is called the like the coronavirus but coronaviruses are like a family of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds gotcha. of type of viruses that cause like fever and and respiratory problems <clears throat> so so what is it that's killing is it uh what is, is it? it it well it like causes like a fever and like a respiratory it's very similar to the symptoms of flu they just don't have anything that can like cure it so if you get it you're pretty much screwed um i don't know it's spreading there's people well right now there's people it's yeah there's right now i think there's a confirmed 600 over 600 people dead yeah it's about like 650 and but 30 31 thousand people worldwide have it but and it keeps spreading like every time i go on twitter the the number goes higher and higher and it's also china or some people are like skeptical that china's like really like hiding the numbers and making it seem a lot uh wow less bad than what it actually is the last time this happened was like was remember like sars when that happened that was like no. the big thing is like you know it, what, this everybody was, else like, brought that i don't know what that like i've never heard of that SARS, SARS happened like when we were like in middle school elementary school oh, okay, yeah, it was like it was a really big it. deal and there was also one called like mers that happened like in the middle east and it was like a respiratory thing these types of oh. viruses are ones that come from i believe like animals to humans and gotcha. stuff. Oh, and that's what this one is. This one too, is. Yeah. And they just don't know. It came from like they think bats onto another animal and then with that animal oh, we contacted damn. so the bat infected like an animal and then we ate either the meat an uncooked meat oh. or it was interaction of like feces and urine and stuff this is literally the plot to the movie contagion contagion didn't come from a bat as well it, it was s- like no it was just i Wait, don't know if really? it was a bat but it was an animal and then it, it literally and it was getting like you would get the flu in the movie and con- the movie contagion people were just getting the flu and then just drop and it was just like what was happening. Should in like China. should we be worried? Of- oh my god! What was that? That was my backpack. It just, Did it just fall? Yeah, dude. But I was. It was, dude. It was. It's. I. I it's empty. I think your backpack just. <laughs> You're, no, but we've been sitting. His backpack got the corona. Actually, it's that not was funny. Weird. The coronavirus though is not funny though. My backpack literally just dropped. As we were talking about that, that's crazy, guy. I thought it was like an animal, like a like a, a <laughs> you wild thought you animal. Thought it was a bat <laughs> that, that fucking ran in here. Oh wow, that was a, uh, that was a pumped on my blood. <laughs> there, huh? you go, like, there you go. I feel like a burst of energy just. All right, um, but yeah, no. In the movie Contagion, um, what was I saying? They, yeah, they, they were the flu and then catch they the flu died. and they would just drop dead. And should we be concerned? Like, if it's something that we get, is it is it? It's not curable. I think you should be as hygienic as possible. Yeah. When you get, uh, is it curable? Well, they are like testing vaccines, and I think that they're going to be uh, uh, available for treatment like in early March. So it's like, I don't know. I don't. I'm not an expert in this field. So guys, if I speak wrong about anything, yeah. Uh, whenever forgive me. we talk about shit like this, we just but un- but what un- I did but what I did know. read earlier today was that uh, that there is like they are working on a vaccine and they want to have it out hopefully by the beginning of March. So. I think like people go and get your yeah. uh, your vaccine for the coronavirus, yeah. so it makes sure it doesn't like Damn. you know if it comes if it gets even <clears throat> worse. I mean, the SARS was very seri- serious and MERS was very serious, but I think the CDC um, 
I don't know, can tackle these things. I'm optimistic. Yeah. I'm optimistic. Lot, uh, <clears throat> but it's just what scares me is the paranoia about people um, getting a hold of coronavirus and then using it as a way of like terrorism. You know, like. Oh my, like, you see, I don't even <clears throat> think about that. Like, that's a lot. Like, that, I don't even think about shit like that when it comes to. If people realize that, that they have epidemic. something that they can like spread within a population to like bring uh, it down. That That's what makes me paranoid. It, it is the virus getting in the wrong hands. But that's the paranoid side yeah. of me. But uh, I don't know. I'm optimistic that. Yeah. It will be settled. It's it was, just so scary how like something like this happens. But yeah. it's only and it was it was really sad and scary because um there was a couple of videos I saw where people that have family in China they were like yeah. you know th they were making video like just crying just like guys I, my family's in China my dad's a doctor and because right now all the doctors are in the hospitals but like the, all the doctors are being exposed to this like virus. And one of the know? first ones who like uh, sent out the big <clears throat> warning about it just died like today. Wait, really? Yeah, he was like the first one who made like a big video saying like how bad it's getting and stuff, and he died today. It's crazy. Fuck, that's... I know. But uh, a big thing, though, is like the coronavirus, though, it's really not funny. There are people's loved ones and everything who are dying, and, they're, and it, there's a, it's a really scary sense of paranoia. Yeah. And just because it's not happening here doesn't mean like... Well, I mean, it is happening here, but like... Keep it's that very serious. on yeah. deck, guys. But it's very serious for the people of China. Like, so, I don't know. But it's not even sanitizer. It's, it's like airborne. You know, like that's that's it, fucking it's, scary. It's, it's from like is it, it's, it's airborne, right? I mean, yeah, I, it, it, airborne. Yeah, it's like an, it can be like an airborne. Oh, there's like different, like, I, it, but not airborne where it's just like it's it, not. It, it yeah. just when not you're like, sick. I think yeah. it's if you touch your eyes or something, right? They yeah. said touch your mouth or your eyes. Yeah. Just point is that's how I feel like the world's gonna travel end. Responsibly. It's, it's an epidemic. It's like. Like zombie almost, but like yeah, not, you, I mean, you know, I, like, like a contagion, plague, just no, like a, like a full on like, plague that yeah. just, that decimates right. the population. Eh, I contagion know. Contagion seems very realistic. That movie seems really realistic. When I watch it, I'm just like, yeah. fuck. I know, but I think I have faith. I don't know. I'm always like an inherent optimist. Like I have faith in humanity that they will figure it out. Um, I do not have faith in humanity. Mm -mm. <sighs> stay safe out there, guys. Stay and, safe. Uh, stay sanitary. All of that jazz. Man, this man. has been a fun podcast, but man, I miss Mariah. Without Mariah here, I, I would say this was a pretty good podcast. I feel like we did pretty good with you know with our circumstance. Yeah, yeah. Matt, I I hope the oh no, mic we were is still on. We weren't recording. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding. That'd be I'm so kidding. bad. Um, <laughs> guys, again, thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> Buy the merch; it is available mm -hmm. on the app store. The app store, no, on the app store. Fanjoy.co slash Zane and Heath. There you go, baby. Um. I know I'm I'm wearing the one that we don't have up, but we do have to make a hoodie with the front uh, facing yeah, up on we, it because I do of, really like it. We got a lot of uh, suggestions saying that the, you guys wanted the uh, logo on the front of the hoodie, so this is what it would look like. If you guys do want that, please, on the video, comment below saying that you would like that as opposed to the unfiltered on the front with the logo on the back. Yeah. Um, and we will get those put out as soon as we possibly can. Again, good morning. Good afternoon, mm -hmm. good night, in case whatever time you're watching this Wherever podcast. you guys are, exactly. what time. Oh, and sorry, we didn't make it the Paranormal Podcast. We wanted right. Mariah to be a part of it, and yeah, she, Mariah she, is not she here. She really wanted to tell some stories and be a part of so that. So we'll do it next time. Next time. Oh, and do 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 not send emails to my business email. <laughs> send it to Zane and Heath, unfiltered at, at gmail.com. Yes. Not my business email. Yeah, we <laughs> actually do have to put it in the description because it's not yeah. in the description, and people okay. always ask where it is. So yeah, Zane and Heath, unfiltered at gmail.com dot com tell us whatever you want right open up to us yeah anything you could possibly yeah you know, we're always looking of. at it <clears throat> and we um, really appreciate it but All yeah right. guys again we post the podcast every monday morning on the podcast app spotify all that jazz matt thank you so much for taking mariah's spot the mm -hmm. pleasure is all mine everybody send guys just send again. love to mariah just send love send hearts send prayers mm -hmm. mariah could mariah could use it so because we all love her. Um, love you, Bubba. The juice. The funny. The juice. The funny. <laughs> we hope you come back next time. We love you so much. And mm -hmm. baby. Baby, we will see you next week. Peace and blessings. You know how I know the podcast is over? What? Because y'all be looking around and shit. Oh, you <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it.